And I'm sorry if you can hear the cast, the window is wide open because it's so warm and I don't know why I am in this dress, but it's supposed to be light and my hair is up because I'm, I'm boiling. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about products that I am not scared to pan and that I don't find overwhelming. And if I was going to start a project tomorrow per se, these are the products that I would have in mind and that I would gravitate towards to put in project pants. Last week I talked about products that I was scared to pan and you guys asked for the opposite so I thought I would share today. These items are easier to pan, you don't really have to think about it. For me they are products that I don't mind using every day and that I don't have the need to change. Let's start off with the base products because for me a base is not something that I really care about. Sometimes I actually find a primer to be a cheat product to put in a project pan because I don't have a problem with panning a primer. For me I only use one kind of primer. I don't need a dewy one, I don't need a mattifying one. I don't really need that kind of stuff so a primer is pretty easy for me to put in a project pan and I don't find the need to change it up. And if you want to know, this is the Max Factor Facefinity All Day Primer that I have tried to use up before. Foundation is also a product that I can use every single day and I can kind of adjust my powder to the foundation and not get sick of the foundation. This for example is the W7 HD Foundation 12 Hour. This has a satin finish so I can kind of wear old primers with this, I can wear old powders with this and this will still look beautiful on my skin. I have a combination to oily skin so that is why I don't like a dewy foundation and I don't really like a matte foundation because then I it, it cakes up on my skin very fast. A concealer on the other hand is a little bit more tricky for me because I'm very very pale. It is easier for me to match a foundation to my skin tone than a concealer. So sometimes I really don't like to pan a concealer but I really... I, I do find them easy to pan because it's kind of like the same with the foundation. I don't have the need to change it up every single day or every other week or so. And this is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age the Eraser Eye that I have in my graveyard project pan. Let's talk about this powder. I have panned several of these. The, this is the powder that I use to set my concealer every single day. Again, I have gone through a lot of them and I already have hit pan on this one as well. This is a product that I am always using and I am going to use it no matter if I have it in a project or not. In general, a powder is not very hard to for me to use every single day. I don't know what to say. It, it's, it's just a really easy one. Some powders takes longer if you think about how it's pressed in the pan, but in general it's very easy and this is really easy for me to pan because I use it anyway. Before we get to the colored products, I want to talk about an eye primer. This is the W7 I Got The Power All Day Wear Primer. If I use makeup every single day, sometimes it takes a year, sometimes it takes less. And it also really depends on the size. So it can be intimidating to pan an eyeshadow primer, but I don't feel the need to change it up every single day. So in the future, I would love just to have one in my collection or maybe two, a glitter glue and a normal one. So this is not a store goal to put in a project if I want to. The one thing that I have a hard time kind of pan and yeah that I want to change up most is the lip color and the eyeshadow. So a face product for example, a bronzer is I don't have a struggle with panning these and I find them very easy to use every single day. I don't have the need to have a matte bronzer and a shimmery bronzer in my collection or in my skin in my makeup routine, not skincare routine, makeup routine. So a bronzer is definitely an easy one to put in a project but just like a highlighter or a blush they take forever to go through. This is the Honey Bronzer by uh, The Body Shop. I really really like this one. This is the lightest shade. So I mostly, yeah, I think I will pan this in the winter time because it's so light and I get more color in the summer, obviously. And I'm sorry about the cars. Because it's so nice outside, the weather and stuff, Everyone decides to drive today. I'm sorry. Just as I said with the bronzers, I find a blush and a highlighter easy to pan and I don't feel the need to change it up every single day. 
The blush may be because of its color, but if it has a kind of neutral color, if it's not too cool tone or too warm, I could use it every single day. For example, this blush is the W7 Matte Me Blush Cheeky Matte Powder Blush in Going Out. It is a, quite a pale blush, but it's kind of neutral at the same time. It looks a little bit more peach in the pan, and that doesn't really... I don't mind that because I love wearing some peachy and orangey colors. So this will be a nice one to pan and put in a project if I want to. So, and another blush is more cool toned. It is the Candy Flush by W7. It comes with in this small box, as you can see right here. So this would be easy to pan as well because of its color, because it's not that intense. I have some blushes in my C palette, some from Benefit, the box blushes. Paulista, Dandelion, Rogatua and Sugar Bomb. These are very neutral on this skin as well. So they will be easy to wear every single day and you don't have to adjust them to the rest of the eye look or look in general. A deluxe size highlighter is definitely on the top of the highlight panning list because it is smaller. This is the W7 Glow Motion Shimmer Highlighter. This is a beautiful champagne color, so it's natural of its own, it's smaller, and this is not in insanely intense on your cheeks. It's really, really beautiful. So definitely the deluxe sizes items are really loved in the panning community because they don't take long to go through. But to be honest, I don't own a lot of deluxe size items. Not anymore at least. Something that could be convenient to pan is a bronzer and highlight duo because then you only need a blush and then you are kind of good to go and it doesn't fill up your makeup bag if you want to travel. This is the W7 Hollywood Bronze and Glow and I think it is the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury duo. I don't remember what it's called. Shimmer in the bronzer does show up on your skin so it's very natural on the skin tone and the highlighter is subtle, 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 subtle I think. And the highlighter is really really nice and natural so this will be very very nice to pan and you won't get sick of it because it's it's not intensely pigmented, so you can build it up and it will not look too much on your skin. Another thing that I don't get scared of is contour palettes. This one is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. It comes with a highlighter, some setting powders and some contour and bronzers down here. This is very convenient as well because even though I'm really, really pale, I get a little color in the middle of the year, hopefully. So I can match all of the shades all year round and it would be a nice first palette to pan. A little bit intimidating because it has four bronzers but overall I actually think this would be very very nice to pan. Because again because you have it all and you can just pair it with a blush. I think the NYX palette is really nice because you can actually pop the pans out and replace them if you pan one of the shades. These right there. I have a brow pencil here. I really want them to look nice and I think a brow pencil can easily make them look nice and I even an eyeshadow for my brows. So I don't mind panning an eyebrow pencil because I really don't care about my brows that much. An eyebrow pencil and eyebrow product in general, I find them very easy to pan. And then we have a brown eyeliner. A colored eyeliner is a different talk, but a brown eyeliner is definitely easy because it's neutral and it goes with everything. And it really goes well with some neutral looks if you want to use them every single day. I am panning neutral looks for every day and then I'm spicing it up in the weekend. So a brown eyeliner is really, really nice. For creams, I want to mention this color tattoo by Maybelline. It is called Creme de Nude. It is just a pale beige cream eyeshadow. So this is... A really really nice choice for a project pan because you can use it every single day and it doesn't really matter what you put on top and this will get covered so this is going to be a nice item to pan a nude colored cream eyeshadow is definitely the way to go if you feel a colored eyeshadow stick or cream eyeshadow or liquid eyeshadow is more intimidating i have a few of those and i definitely prefer putting this in your project than a green or a pink if you have a C palette, a smaller or this bigger one, and it is filled with um, single shadows, I can see why it is convenient. And I can see why it also may be a little bit intimidating because they are bigger. 
than a maybe a normal eyeshadow. I don't find single shadows intimidating even though they are in individual packaging. For example, this MAC Witch eyeshadow is a normal brown, standard brown you can put in your crease. You can use it every single day and then you can change it up by adding some different colored eyeshadows. For example, if you want to pan the MAC single and then maybe one of these colors, a rose gold shade from Kiko, a gold shade from Kiko or this bronze shade from P2. They are really really easy to put in the project and you can kind of change it up if you're just panning this single brown eyeshadow. Another one that I really really like having in the project, I had this single eyeshadow from Essence in Snowflake in a project. I loved using this on my brow bone or as a highlighter or in my inner corner and I can use this every single day and I'm not going to get sick of it. In the video where I talked about products that I was scared to pan, I talked about Panda Palette. A smaller palette is definitely the easy choice for a Panda Palette if you want to. So I have a few quads here to show you. This one is the Maybelline Smoky Eyes and it is a cool toned palette right here. and. Again, it has four shades, so it's just not a bigger commitment to a panda palette if you want to. So I think this, for example, is very it's very neutral, so you can get away with it every single day in any occasion. And you can smoke it up and just, or just leave it very light and nice. <laughs> and then I have some NYX Trottle eyeshadow quartz. And these are very, very neutral as well. You can spice them up with some color or just keep it neutral. It has a nice size and the formula definitely takes a point. A neutral palette in general is just easier to commit to every single day. You can definitely pan some brighter eyeshadows. I did that for three uh, months in the beginning of the year. And I was trying to pan <laughs> the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette, which has some very, very bright colors. I find this easier to pan. Okay, I say that a little bit loosely. It is a big mouthful, it is. But you can pair this with so many things because this is a palette that only pulls matte on your eyes, even though there are um, four, three to four shimmers into this. This pulls very matte on your skin and then you can just pair it with other shadows. For example, the rose gold shade or just the white shimmer shade. You can even pair it with a neutral palette. So it takes the pressure off you if you just focus on one shade. I did that for the months. I focused on the pink and then the green and then I based the looks around that shadow. When I panned my Too Faced Chocolate Bar last year, I paired it with the NYX palette a few times and in that way this was changed up a little bit so I didn't get bored of it. It's just a really really nice palette to pan because it's neutral, it can get smoky, it can, can get lighter and it's neutral and it's a little bit challenging as well because of the darker colors and again it pairs really really nicely with some colors. Before we get on to the rest of the products in this video, mostly lip products to be honest, I'm just going to show you some palettes in my collection that I consider as a panda palette because of the color scheme and the variation in the shadows. The first one is the new Tude palette by The Balm. Then we have the W7 Major Matte palette. This is an all matte palette and it's very neutral and can be paired with so many different colors. I have the W7 Romance palette. So this is a pretty neutral color scheme with some beautiful shimmers and mattes in this one and it can be darkened and lightened. The W7 Life's a Peach palette. I love my oranges and my peaches. And this is an all matte palette so this would be very nice to be paired with other single shadows. I have the W7 on the Rocks palette and this is because of the variety of the color scheme. I have some blues, I have some reds, I have some coppery neutral ones, I have some peaches, yellows. You have it all in this palette and a transformer shade even. Then we have the W7 Delicious palette. This gives me variation because of the two reds and the orange. Otherwise it's very very neutral and it can be worn every single day without you getting bored. I think, and you can spice it up with the ribs. Lip balm, I think it speaks for itself. You can use this all year, all day, and uh, it will just be easy to draw on. So lip balm, definitely, and this is tinted, by the way. 
Then we have some lip products to talk about and I definitely want to touch on some lip gloss. A lip gloss is definitely an easy product to put in a project pan because it is here and you can top it with every single lip product that you want to pan or just use in general. Again, and this gosh lip gloss is a light pink and it is kind of sheer on the lips so it doesn't really interfere with any colors that you have on your lips in beginning then we have this giant pen stick from max factor it is from the color elixir line they don't make these gloss sticks anymore but a gloss stick is definitely something that i would find easy i'm sorry about the dog <laughs> because it's sheer and it's kind of comfortable on the lips i'm really sorry about the dog especially this color it is a kind of sheer color this coldly nude color it's just going to be easy, you know, you don't really have to think about it and if you want to focus on your eye looks you can just toss this on and you can't really see it on your lips that much. So it's kind of the same thing as a gloss. I'm not really brave when it comes to liquid lipsticks in general. But if I want to pan a, a liquid lipstick it is like a color I have on my lips today or a kind of nude color or again this rosy pinky nude then it will be easy to wear and it matches every single eye look that you want to do basically that's just make it a little bit more manageable in your head when you want to pan something nude and neutral so uh, my battery definitely needed to take a break so we're back and we can kind of talk about the last three lip lipsticks that i have in this video. So for bullet lipsticks I have kind of two to four options when I want an easy lipstick shade to pan. The first one is the one I have on my lips. It is the e.l.f. lipstick that I am panning in my whole collection project pan. It's a warmer nude color. More orangey toned. And then we have this Maybelline Tantalizing Taupe Eye I shade on no <laughs> lipstick shade and this is a very pale nude color this goes with everything it's a little bit more cool tone but it's really pale so you can lay it on top of other lipsticks and you can pair it with any eye look that you want to so this is really easy and then we have the more mauve nude color and it is a lipstick from Rimmel London it is called the Naughty Nude Naughty Nude so this is an easy formula to pan as well and the color is very wearable. And then we have the Estee Lauder lipstick that I have in my Roulette Pan Collab. It's a little bit more sheer, so it's a little bit more pink and neutral. That's everything for this video. It is going to be super, super long and I'm so sorry. I just had a lot on my heart for this. I love panning. I love to pan stuff. And these are the kind of items that I would go for if I want to start a new project pan. The next day or the same day or something like that it's it, they're easy products to pan and products that i don't really have to think about so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any other video ideas for me please let me know down below don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like this or just in general uh, watch my project pans i have a lot of them going on and i'm going to start one very very soon too i think in this month so i hope you guys are going to follow along i would love for you to hang out on my channel and until my next video please take care